Hey guys, what's going on? MassGFX here, and today I'm going to be covering another Photoshop tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be covering on how to go about creating this uh, glass orb, or almost like a sphere effect. Uh, it's actually fairly simple, so I figured you guys would enjoy to see this. So let's go ahead and create a new document here. I'm just using the width and height of 1920 by 1080. Now what I did to start off is just added a simple gradient to the background. Uh, you can use whatever you want, plain white or whatever suits your needs. Uh, this I did just to help stand it out a little bit more, like so. Alright, next thing we want to go ahead and do is actually head over to our elliptical marquee tool. While holding down our shift key, we're just going to click and drag out a nice circle here. And once we have that done, go ahead and right click on the inside, head over to fill. Under our contents, you can pretty much select whatever color you wish. Uh, we are going to be changing it later down the road. So I'm just going to select white for now and deselect this. Alright, now what I went ahead and did for uh, my lighting effects, as you can see here, I have the, uh, almost this all, like the sun is beating down on top of it. So, in order to do that, I just combined uh, two different types of gradients. So, what I do here is just create a new layer above our sphere. And you want to hold down your Alt key and go in between, and that's basically a shortcut to our clipping mask. From there, I'm just going to head over to my gradient tool. And you can pretty much select whatever uh, colors uh, you have available to you right now. Uh, obviously, some people don't have this many gradients. So, I'm just going to select a nice blue. Now, what you want to make sure you do is select your diamond gradient, because this is where you're really going to get the emphasis on the actual sun beating down on it. So, once we have that selected, I'm just going to go ahead and head over to the top right corner of my sphere, and just click and drag out. And you can go ahead and play around with this a couple times until you get something uh, that looks just right or whatever uh, suits your needs. Now the next thing I did to go ahead and lighten it up or make it more of a sphere, uh, like a glass orb, is I added another layer. Once again, adding a clipping mask. Head back to our gradient tool. And for this, I selected a pearl gradient. And once again, we're going to use our diamond and just click and drag out here. And then what you want to do is go into your blend modes and select overlay. Now this may be a little bright right now, but this is where we're going to go ahead and fix that. So next thing we're going to do is double click on our sphere layer to bring up our layer styles. Now we're only going to be focusing on our inner shadows, our outer glow, and our inner glows. So I'm going to go ahead and start out with the outer glow here. And basically what we're going to be doing is just creating a simple drop shadow just to help stand it out against the background. So we're going to select our blend mode to normal, our opacity to 100% and we're going to select a black just to help stand it out and you can mess around with your spread and size accordingly so the next thing we want to do is head over to our inner shadow option we want to make sure we have our blend mode set to overlay and you can pretty much select the color um, I chose the almost like a light or a dark gray and you can go ahead and play with your opacity up and down uh, I like to set it to 100% just to see um, have a good idea of what I'm working with now from here we go ahead and step over to our distance option and what this allows us to do is, as you can see, if we increase the distance, it basically just uh, starts to cover up a portion of the sphere. And you want to go ahead and set that pretty high, um, basically so it's covering about half of it. Next step you want to do to go ahead and give it more of a standout look is we head under our contour options. And you can basically play around with these as much as you wish. Um, I find the one to be uh, most helpful is the ring double option. Um, I find that it just stands out more and go ahead and select our anti-alias uh, just to go ahead and get rid of some of those uh, rough edges and we go ahead and darken up our uh, a little shading here uh, once again you can just play around with this until you find something that uh, suits your needs and we can bump around with our spread and size here okay now the next thing we want to do is head over to our inner glow option once again we want to make sure we have our blend mode set to overlay our uh, color we're going to select a black almost a dark gray and from here we're going to once again head over to our contour option now once again you play around with all these until you find something that you like um, I find the cone inverted to be very helpful uh, basically what it does for me is just darkens up the sphere and uh, allows the illumination at the top to just really overwhelm it and uh, just give it more of that sun beating down effect and we can go ahead and play with our, our opacity here and just variate our choke, our choke and size now as you see if we uh, increase the size we'll almost get like a inner glow in a sense and um, I would recommend bumping up your sides just to give it more of the glossy outline alright now that's pretty much all of our layer style options that we're going to be covering so what we're going to do is go in and actually customly add some glossy effects so once again we're going to create another clipping mask and we're going to head over to our pen tool basically click to make our first point here 
and then click to make another one and while continuing holding down the mouse button we're just going to go ahead and create a nice little uh, oval shape or almost like a moon crest and you want to be almost identical to this one and we can go ahead and just close out the circle here and once again you want to right click on the inside head over to fill path we're going to select white since we are doing a glossy overlay hit enter to get rid of our outline now what we're going to do from here is basically add a layer mask to this option and we're going to head back to our gradient tool make sure we have our linear option selected with the original black to white fade and what we're going to do is just click and drag down here and as you can see what that does for us is basically just fades away at it um, you can play around with this as much as you like uh, you can just keep it going back and just redoing it until you find something that uh, is what you had in mind and then the last thing you want to go ahead and do is add the shadow at the bottom now in order to do this it's actually a simple effect all you have to do is create a new layer under our sphere head over to our elliptical marquee tool again just click and draw out a decent sized oval we're going to right click again head over to fill we're going to select our option for black since it's going to be a shadow and we can deselect this and you can basically um, make a placement around anywhere you want in order to give it the actual shadow effect we're going to head over to our filter option our blurs and we're going to select gaussian blur and you can bump up and down your radius here just to get different effects obviously um, the higher you go you get more of an actual shadow effect you can click OK on that. So there you go, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoy this tutorial. It's a very simple effect. Um, may not have come out as well as this one, but um, I hope you guys got the general idea and enjoyed the tutorial. So anyways, guys, take it easy.